I'm Sheba. Welcome to my channel. Plastics are just everywhere. Plastics in our homes, in our offices, in our cars, water bottles, soft drink bottles, food containers. Plastics are just everywhere. But did you ever think if these plastics are not utilized or managed in a proper way, what impact they'll have on our health and on our environment? Especially the food containers where the food is in direct contact with the plastic. To know all these, have you observed the symbol which is printed on the bottom of the plastic product? Yes, that's a recycle symbol. But what is that number which is printed inside the recycle symbol? That is a raisin identification code. And these numbers range from 1 to 7. And these numbers tell us a lot about the plastic. Like, it gives us a reference as to what kind of plastic has gone into the manufacturing of this product. Yes, we will get to know what kind of plastic has been used in making of this product. It aids the recyclers in sorting process. Since the numbers are printed on the plastic product, it is easy for the recyclers to accept those plastics which they recycle. It helps us in making a safer choice. It helps us to know which plastics are safe, which can be recycled and which can be reused. So let us see what these numbers are. Number 1. Polyethylene terephthalate. They have moisture and gas barrier property. They are used for soft drink bottles, water bottles, oil bottles. They are used for single use applications. These plastics should never be reused and they are widely recycled. Number 2. High density polyethylene. They have moisture and high heat resistant property. They are used for milk jugs, detergent bottles, shampoo bottles and folding chairs and tables. They can be reused and they are widely recycled. Number 3. Polyvinyl Chloride They have excellent chemical resistance and they are very very stable. They are used for wire and cable insulation, pipes and fittings, clear food wrapping. These plastics should never be reused and they are rarely recycled. Number 4. Low Density Polyethylene They are soft and flexible when compared to HDPE. They are used for dry cleaner bags, bread bags and squeezable bottles. They can be reused and they are not always recycled. Number 5. Polypropylene. They are strong, tough and high resistant. They are used for kitchen and dishware, microwave safe containers, for caps, lids, straws and some packaging items. They can be reused and they are not always recycled. Number 6. Polystyrene. Also popularly known as styrofoam. They are used for disposable cutlery, CD or DVD cases, egg cartons, meat trays, foam cups, carry out containers. These plastics should never be used in microwave, should never be exposed to extreme heat as they can tend to leach out a chemical called styrene which is harmful to our health. Never store hot food in these containers. They are not reusable and they are rarely recycled. Number 7. Others. This category contains all other plastics and also the combination of plastics from 1 to 6. They are polycarbonate, bioplastic and acrylic. They are used to make 3 to 5 gallon water jugs, clear plastic cutlery, baby bottles, sippy bottles. These plastics should never be reused and they are rarely recycled. And it is always best to avoid this plastic. Now that we all know what these numbers are, it is easy for us to choose plastics which are safe to store food and for our daily purposes. And they are 2, 4 and 5. The plastics which are widely recycled are 1 and 2. Which are mostly recycled or which are not always recycled are 4 and 5. And which are rarely recycled are 3, 6 and 7. And 7 is a plastic which is best to avoid. All plastics tend to leach out chemicals under certain conditions. Microwave safe containers does not mean that they do not leach chemicals. It only means that these containers do not melt when exposed to such high heat. So know your plastic, make safer choices, use glass containers or stainless steel containers to store food. Take care of yourself and your family. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.